Hi everyone, um, it's been, I think it's like, well it's over a year anyway and s since I last did a video and <clears throat> around the last time I, I did a video in fact it was, um, I was waiting for my visa to go to Saudi Arabia and uh, it was also right before I had surgery to have my breast implants of 10 years removed and um, it's been, uh, let's just say it's been quite the year um, I moved to Saudi Arabia to be with my husband who was working there so I spent my first year of marriage in a completely different country and uh, it was, I'm not going to say it was easy or always good but at the time it didn't feel good I mean it is good or it was good because I've grown as a person and also we have grown as a couple and honestly the trials that we went through were mostly to do with my health and um, I hadn't been on my medication for my ankylosing spondylitis as reluctant as I am to accept the diagnosis um, as being that I know that I do have a pain condition which appears to affect me systemically, as in the pain starts small but gradually um, spreads to the point where it's clearly um, clearly showing in my in my blood tests that there's high inflammatory markers and, and there's a lot of stuff going on. I lose weight. Um, I become very fatigued. Um, the pain is, is so bad that. You know, moving becomes very difficult. Like, I can't even describe it. What happened last year? It was very unusual. In fact, it was more, it was more extreme than it has ever been before. Um, but finally, I was able to get um, covered by you know health insurance over there, and I was on a, back on to my Enbrel, which is an anti TNF therapy. So that was a big challenge for me um, throughout the year. You know my wrapped up in that like not just dealing with pain but dealing with the effects of not being able to train and and really a lot of it is battling with yourself and your own ego and and you know you want to go in and you want to be impressive and you know that for me personally has always been a big challenge but <clears throat> when i'm being basically told to stop to stop i f find that very difficult um, to be told what to do, even if it's by my own body telling me. So I wasn't injured, like I haven't, it wasn't something that I did, it's just something that happened. It's something that's existing within me. I don't know why it came about, what triggered it, but you know, it's something that's there and for now I have to be on this medication. But along with that, in that, I learned a lot about pain and um, other ways to cope. And so that is something that I do want to talk about more. I also want to talk about, you know, the issues with body image, like having my breast implants removed, dealing with that and, you know, in the compound at least, not outside of the compound in Saudi, but within it, it was pretty normal life, you know, you could go by the pool, wear your bikini and stuff. So I guess like all of this caused me to see that I could write about my overcoming lots of things on my blog, but it comes and goes like waves, like you'll get like overwhelmed again by um, issues with, you know, being self-conscious and feeling like you don't measure up and you know, all these insecurities that you've always maybe carried before. It's, you have to constant. it's like trying to forgive somebody. You don't forgive somebody all at once sometimes, especially if it's something very serious um, that maybe happened a lot over a long period of time. Being able to forgive and even forgiving yourself is a process and it's almost like a daily letting go or daily handing over of something. So it's the same type of thing with the issues I think with uh, body image and, and just like stresses, things that you know, you t tend to worry about stuff or catastrophize. These are things you have to deliberately leave behind every day. So if something's coming up and you're feeling a certain way, then just catch it and, and be able to see that that's what's happening. It's all very well and good, especially if there's lots of little things coming at you. But um, these things, anyway, I figured were too long for this introduction, which is probably already too long. But I just wanted to give you an idea that it's been 
quite a year and there's a lot of things that I'd love to talk about and maybe I can do that in several other shorter videos because I know that when you're watching something on YouTube, no matter how interesting the person might be, um, it's you, you don't want to watch a long video, everyone wants to watch short videos. So um, I'll try to keep my videos a little bit shorter um, and hopefully you can you can understand what I'm what I'm trying to get at. I also want to write more about the experiences on my on my blog as well, but I kind of feel like maybe I could you know talking about it might actually um, be better. I find it difficult just to sit there and write at the minute. So the good thing about being here is that you know I've it's actually kind of nice in a way because it's. It reminds me of when I first started the blog. I was outside in the snow and it was just me and uh, two kettlebells and that's all I had for so long doing my workouts. I used like chairs and stuff around the house and here I'm in a basement that has no, it's not finished or anything, there's nothing on the floor and I have me and kettlebells and uh, so that's where I'm at again. Today's workout is going to be uh, three rounds of five exercises, it's very straightforward. There's 10 reps per exercise. And just rest when you need to, maintain good form. Um, I think that part of this spontaneous getting the video camera on today and just um, just doing it is that sometimes we can become paralyzed by analysis and uh, that's kind of what's been happening and thinking, well, what am I gonna do? Well, do I, I don't really have anything unique to offer or whatever crap that goes into your head that you, you give air time to, like these thoughts just happen, that you doubt yourself and you don't just do it. So today, right now, I'm doing this video, I'm not even going to try to like think about how this fits in with a future plan that I don't even have, but I wanted to at least connect again with um, people who subscribe on my YouTube, people who are asking me to do more on my blog and, and things like that, you know, I do feel like this is going to be a good time to restart something. And so let's begin the workout. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you very, very briefly at the end. goblet squat, 10 reps, 16 kilograms, 34, no, 35 pounds. I think that's 10. Okay. Push-ups, 10. Dynamic squats. So that's where your feet are together to start with. You're jumping down as low as comfortable, keeping your chest up, and then jumping back up again. So from the side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they burn. Okay, 200 swing, 20 kilograms, 44 pounds. Uh, <clears throat> I have actually been doing some stuff, so it's, it's good to have a heavier one. Jacks. It's the final exercise. 
exercise. You can do these from your elbows or your hands because of this floor. I'm going to do this on my hands. Feet together and then you're jumping wide like a jumping jack, keeping your core tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, for sure. Okay, moving in to second round. sluggish today. Sometimes the second round feels better. So, hold your kettlebell by its horns, elbows in, keep your lats tight, and then we're just going to squat down, elbows between your knees, Squeeze your glutes, powering up, bringing your hips forward. Very quick. 
not taking very long. This maybe going to take you about 10 minutes, 12 of actual work. It almost seems pointless, but it's over with quickly, especially if you've uh, little time or you have kids running around distracting you. You can go almost dip in and out of it, do a round at a time. Whew. Okay, final round. <coughs> I don't think it's, I've done a, a video like this. I don't know why I even started giving direction um, halfway through. It just seemed like the right thing to do because it's kind of boring just watching me do it. I'd rather give directions, maybe you can train along with me. Uh, okay, back to goblet squats. <clears throat> so, 10 reps again. Uh, remember, you can either do this with the, the horns and the handle upward, or you can flip it up the way, or upside down, it's like bottoms up. Um, that's kind of handy if you have a competition uh, or pro grade bells, so then you can rest the, the actual bell part on your thumbs and uh, it's more comfortable. Okay, stop wasting time and get on with it. Okay, 10 reps. One, two, three. to rest long before I do these. So down. <coughs> So you don't use your arms. Okay, 
stop getting all the swing. So, set up, bring yourself down, lats engaged, and snap forward. Two, three, four, as I come down and then bend my knees a little bit more, bring the belt slowly down. <coughs> then plank jacks, last exercise of the last round. This is a nice finisher as well to like a strength workout. It's a really fast paced. I didn't intend to do a support thing, but I guess that's how it worked out. Okay, plank jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay everyone, that's it for today. I um, hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, remember you don't need to go at the same pace as me, um, lift the same weight as me or or anything. You can there's no pressure to do that. You can just go at your own level and that's fine too. Um, hope to be back soon with more. Um, have a good day.